Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to share data between different Angular components. My name is Ayaz Zafar and welcome to my channel Ayaz Tech. So let's begin. Uh, to start work on that, you have to make sure that you already have Angular CLI installed in your computer. So I assume that it is Angular CLI is already installed and working in your, in your PC. I am using latest version of Angular CLI. Let me show you that. Okay, I am using Angular CLA 9.1.6. So first of all, I'm going to create a project, a ng. To create a project, I will type ng create. New, uh, you can name, set any name here. I will name it share data. Okay, it is engine new share data and let's wait for it. It will ask you a few questions like if you want to add a routing as we are just uh, uh, doing a very simple task. We don't need any angle routing. So I will just type N and uh, okay, let's use the SCSS. Now it will take some time. So I will pause the video. All right, guys. Angular project has been created, so I am going to I am going inside that project now. I will open the VS code within this folder so that we can write actual code. Okay, first of all, I will run it ng serve minus o. Now it will take a few seconds or a minute, so we have to wait for it. Okay, the project has been launched and it is running properly. Now we can just do experiments and uh, uh, to see how we can share data between two different components. So there are different approaches to share data between different components. If the, uh, if there is a relation between two components like parent-child relationship, if you have nested a component into your component, then uh, you can share data by using the input and output. And uh, if uh, there is no relation between uh, these two components, then you can also use a service. So with the service, you can share data between any different components in Angular. So first of all, let's uh, create another component. And we will uh, use input and output first to see how data is shared between two different parent-child components. So let's generate another component ng new my component. Oh, so actually, ng gen generate c my component would be the right command to generate a component. Okay, component has been generated and uh, it is also has been declared in the app module. That's good. So now I can just add a, add the my component selector here. You have to make sure the selector from the component file. Okay, let's see. Okay, you can see that uh, this data is coming. Uh, this text is coming from the child component. Now I want to send the data into this component. So for that, first of all, I have to uh, create an input here. For example, you can want to pass age.
and you also want to pass name then and I want to use it here similarly I want to use it here the name so after writing this we need to pass this data into this component so that it can be used within the component for that I will write this age or anything hello world okay you can see that I just pass the data from uh, uh, this component to child component so you can also use the variable inside your parent component like this oh, and here you can type the name like David any name and I will just pass these uh, properties into the inputs of this child component like this age and name okay so let's see okay you can see that it is updated and it is working fine so you can see how we share the data between parent uh, component to child component but uh, what if you want to pass data from child to parent for that I will declare I will define an output here that will be the event emitter and with the with the help of event emitter we will uh, pass data out of the child to the parent so let's do that output okay, on you can call any name here like clicked me maybe click me event emitter I just added this okay so whenever user clicks on the edge then it should trigger that event emitter like this dot emit and here you can pass any data for example you have stored this data here in this child component like uh, the date 22 year 2020 and you want to send it to the parent just pass it here and uh, you, you passed it in the emit function and on the parent side I will just listen to this event by using this and here <coughs> I just want to show an alert for that I will just create another function with the same name you can <coughs> set any name with this uh, any name for this function so here I am going to alert the and uh, you have to capture the data that was emitted in the child component like this so in our case this event is actually the data that was passed from the <coughs> child so I will receive it here and I will show it JSON stringify and uh, let's see <clears throat> okay there was some error hmm. actually I think I imported this event emitter from a wrong library I should have imported from the angular core okay now it's fine let's see 
I click on the age and you can see that it has passed me data back from the child component to the parent so this is the one method that we can use to share data between parent and child but what if there is no relation between two components then how would you share data between them for that uh, best uh, there is a great approach that we can use is by using services so with the services uh, you can share data within any between any component so let's uh, generate a service for that purpose ng-gen my ser ng -gen service this is ng uh, generate g is actually short form of the generate and s for service and here my service so this is the service name that you want to create so service has been uh, generated and uh, now i have to add it to the providers array of the app module so that we can inject it anywhere to use it so i am uh, injecting i am providing it in the uh, root level of the app module uh, or app so that we can use it anywhere no, i'm sorry instead of app module we can use my service actually this name is a little old let me fix it by removing it i will generate it again because it added the service word at the end automatically so that is why i don't need to add the service word at the end because it will add that word automatically it will suffix my service name with the service word all right here I will provide the my service okay so now I'm going to remove the input output things here and I will share data without these So here in the my service I will create two objects like uh, profile name string hello age 22 and we can define any second object maybe location <clears throat> okay and uh, now you want to share that data between different components So in the app component, I want to show it. Before showing this data, I uh, first of all I will have to inject this service, and to inject that service, I will use the constructor. And then in the constructor, we will write the service name like this: public my service. And now we can use it in the component service data profile data my service dot profile and I am going to use the json pipe so that we can print the json as it is in the ui and similarly i can display the second object in the child component for that i will have to inject the service again like we did in the app component 
okay we already have a com constructor so here I will inject a service my service okay service has been imported now as I want to use it in the public area in the HTML so I will use the public keyword and uh, here instead of this I will just add uh, another heading maybe location and here I will use the service variable a property to you to and I will use the JSON pipe again to print the JSON okay you can see that it is uh, showing uh, uh, this data from the service and also this data from the service and uh, even I can display the same data uh, in the child component as well for the profile and location okay so so if in case if you change data from this component then it will be updated on real time uh, I mean it will be updated on in every component so whatever component is using that service so any data that is changed between in that service will be reflected on every component that is using that service so for example in the profile data we have a name hello and here it is also also showing hello but in the child component if I just change the property name then it will reflect every it will reflect that change everywhere like this profile dot name is equal to world and let's see okay you can see that uh, this word was hello and I changed this world uh, to the world and you can see that it is updated everywhere in every component that was using this class this service so this is how we share data between two or diff more than two components I think that's all uh, for this topic so please don't forget to subscribe my channel like my video comment it share it and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get all of the future notifications from my service thank you for watching my video see you later bye